many lives do you think are at risk here if this transition remains stalled? Well, look, we've, you, you've heard the projections. The projections are that if nothing fundamentally changes between now and uh, beginning of February, we're, up, we're likely to lose up to a total of 400,000 lives, another 150,000 lives. And uh, so it's real. Wh wh whether it's that, it gets to 360, whatever it is, it's real. And there is no excuse not to share the data and let us begin to plan. Because on day one, it's going to take us time if we don't have access to all this data. It's going to put us behind the eight ball by a matter of a month or more. And that's lives. How many would be lost as a consequence of that? I can't tell you. But the purpose here is to get — we talked a lot about with the governors about what the immediate needs are. I'm going to — we're going to impose the — we're going to enforce the — excuse me, employ the Defense uh, Reconstructed Act to be able to go out there and dictate companies build and do following things. We need much more testing. We need much more masking. We need, more, we need gloves. I asked them each to go and I asked the National Governor Association through the Governor Cuomo and the ones on the line to let us know what their shortages are, what they anticipate, because we're going to move on day one. That should be moved on now, now. But if it waits, it takes a long time to get this thing going. Let me choose my words oh, here. Uh, I think they're witnessing incredible irresponsibility, incredibly damaging messages being sent to the rest of the world about how democracy functions. And I think it is uh, um, — well, I don't know his motive, but I, I just think it's totally irresponsible. Are you concerned you may succeed, that people may question the legitimacy of your administration? No, I'm not concerned the vast majority of the American people. They've already — all the polling data has indicated, although the Republicans who worry about it, it's higher. But the over 78 percent of the American people believe it's — without question, it's legitimate. Um, and uh, I, I just think it's uh, — and I think most of the Republicans I've spoken to, including some of the governors, I think this is debilitating. It's not a — it sends a horrible message about who we are as a country.